Tour, and guess where I am tonight? A Tuesday night, and yes, I'm at the FN Lounge located on 9th Street. This is going to be a hot event. We have DC most fabulous producer and editor in chief and editor at that in the house tonight, Howard Cromwell. And we also have some hot artists, uh, artists that everyone has heard of Miss Floetry herself, Miss Natalie is in the house tonight. You hear the music in the background? Oh, this fantastic. <laughs> They switched it, but anyway, y'all get the deal. But I'm going to be interviewing and talking to some hot people tonight, some celebs tonight. So just follow me as we make throughout the club. Hey. What's going on, DMV? This is your boy, Emil Couture, and I'm here at the Epin Lounge in Northwest Washington, D.C., and I stopped my girl tonight, Miss Summer, which is an MUA from the DMV area. Miss Summer, how you doing tonight, girl? I feel great. I'm so excited about tonight. That great sound like she had a drink with it. I feel great. <laughs> so, Miss Summer, tell us why you're out tonight. I am out tonight because uh, what's going on is called Eargasm. Yeah. Some uh, speakers coming out to just inspire. I, I did a lot of research on them. They're very uplifting, so I'm re really, really looking forward to tonight. So tonight we're going to be having here at the Epin Lounge some spoken word, some poet, art, some poetry artists. We're also going to have. Miss Natalie herself from Florida, she's going to be stopping through the night here, and she's going to be spitting some things out, you know, a little slang term for us. But also, this event is definitely catered and put together by DC's Most Fabulous, which is Howard Cromwell. We'll have an interview coming with him as well. But Miss Summer, I want to know what you're wearing tonight. I, I love this cathedral jewelry here. This is very nice. And I love your rainy alarm jockey that you have going on this trench that you're rocking tonight. What inspired this look for tonight? <laughs> Well, basically, it's raining out. The weather is kind of, you know, a little messy, dreary, a little dreary. So I decided to go with my tank, uh, my excuse me, my trench coat, and I just threw some accessories on. So I'm kind of wearing this like my outfit tonight. It's like an all-in-one. I'm very comfortable, and I'm just feeling great. Well, I'm definitely happy you came out tonight to support the Ergasm event. I want to thank you for stopping to take the time. And we're going to get back to the party so that we can definitely get the social thing started, all right? Definitely. Thank you so much. All right, then. What's going on, DMV? This is your boy, Emil J. Couture, here at the Epic Lounge for the Ergasm event. Live spoken word with also some of our floor tree artists in the house tonight. But I ran into my favorite boy in DC, Leonard the Club promoter, who's all over. Once again, that's Leonard the Club promoter, who's all over DC. Blow our cell phones up. You know how he do. All over the place. Yeah. Facebook and all. So, Leonard, I heard you got some things going on on Thursdays and Fridays. Let us Who says it's there unless we bring it to consciousness? 
If a tree falls and no one's around, just like it doesn't make a sound, everything is what you make it to be. Cosmic being is existing in realms beyond your sight, beyond your plight, beyond your earthly flight. I want to go higher. Flyer than the earthly fits, clothed in that space element, we can be light years away. Yesterday. Yeah. Thank you. It doesn't have a title. Is that okay with everybody? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. How do I explain her? Well, I define her as my personal premonition, my desired midnight snack after a game of expeditions, but I can't help but justify her prerequisitions. And I thought that she could satisfy my hunger by becoming my thirst quenching, wall hidden puzzle piece figurine. The topic of the discussion when my fingers played the chords of her percussion strings. Wow. With the voice that wow. stopped traffic, her strong persona can take a destination's road and remap it. From first words, I had to have it. I stayed intrigued by her physique even before I unwrapped it. And she navigated my mind through her rocky roads of entrapment. I lost all fingerprints to my identity. I close my eyes throughout the day to find a remedy that would remind me of the body of she who enters my thoughts so sufficiently. I'm going to need some audience um, interaction, so if you know it's real, get with me. Um, so every time I say, let us create happiness, not habit, I need y'all to say, drill, baby, drill. So let us create happiness, not habit. Drill, baby, drill. I should not be depicted by the movie Mean Girls, but that don't mean girls won't behave like they 12 manipulating hellos and hat tips. So soon as backs are turned, it's a battle of babble and gossip, epitomizing the term plastic. And since I easily lose patience with things, I'll give them a whack tip. So please take that shit back to the container store, because I just won't have it. Let us bring happiness, not have it. Drill, baby, drill! Every morning, I praise the Lord for health and opportunity. I pray that I can change the world, but it's all good if I settle on just an impact to the community where teenagers find their grooves on worn cartoon character sheets. So before you know, Shorty's belly is poking further than her bare feet with only one month to motherhood, five to puberty, peaks, oblivious to predetermined statistics stating that victory is a lot further away than defeat, see. They were educated, so she's not on a pill. American lives misregulated, so the government builds urban housing instead of character development. And our children, see, even without harmful weapons, our youth is at risk without guidance. It's up to us to teach them that there's much more to life than that, where parents and child are left searching burdens, stats, looking for a childhood they both lack, like, the late grade Michael. Becoming a public enemy to those higher taxed, like flavor, flavor. We don't need clocks held by gold chains to know it's time to break the cycle. Let us create happiness, not have it. Drill, baby, drill. With underpaid Congolese security, so they're closing the door on fractured Congolese bases with one hand while robbing her for resources with the other. And no province is safe because even some of our own corrupted Congolese leaders are involved in this race, but even they can't keep pace in the face of our Rwandan aggressors, annexing my spirit to their sick and stricken, sinister soul. To such an extent that to now call Eastern Congo, you must die of a Rwandan area code as they toy with the possibility of introducing Rwandan currency in the east. The United Nations talks of peace, knowing full well that peace can only be attained through violence. Jean-Pierre Bebe becoming the Congolese Prime Minister can only happen through violence. Child soldiers fighting in fear of retribution on their families, joining the spread of violence. Breaking my mother country is building the black open blood only continues through violence. When I talk to you about Congolese genocide, what's the compliance of your response? You see, I know because I used to be just like you, sitting there smiling while other folks like dying. Even bought my wife a diamond and probably spilled the blood of a distant cousin for me and chose to ignore it. But now I visited Congolese refugee camps to find that there's not even any.